well, I did lose my job and I lost my clinical practice. Right. Right. So like the costs are real. So your situation in Canada was that they wanted you to sign up for re-education. Oh, no, no. That's already, that, that's, right. that's the plan. Right. I, I, I you... couldn't sign up. They, they, they said already that I have to do that. Right. But we have an appeal in at the moment that's blocking it. And this is all just the only what it affects is what in Canada? What is I it? wouldn't they uh, if I don't undergo the re-education process successfully, they'll suspend my license and well also say why, you know, they'll say, right. Well, Dr. Peterson is uneducable, he's unprofessional, he's violated the ethical tenets of his profession. Right. Just so because you have a different perspective on things than they do. No, it's because I'm actually telling the truth that clinicians bloody well know and are too cowardly to admit. So, mm. you know, they went after me for four reasons, probably. One of them was the entire transcript of the last conversation I had with you. Whoops. Right. That was submitted as a complaint because I was talking about the climate lies. Um, they went after me because of the comments I've made about the trans butchers and liars, the surgeons and the... And the Thera therapists who are enabling them. That's a major part of it. That's a major part of it. They went after me because I went after Trudeau and his former chief of staff. And what else? Those are the major three. There's probably four complaints aligned with each of those dimensions. And so that's cost me about a million dollars in legal fees so far. So it's a very hard battle to fight. It's very annoying because the accusations continue to flow in, even though that's a choice of the college. And I've already been sentenced to re-education of indefinite duration, right, till they're satisfied that I've learned whatever the hell lesson I'm supposed to learn. So that the only reason that isn't happening is because we now have an appeal in front of the Supreme Court in Canada. And so I don't think it'll succeed, but we'll see. Is it important to you to maintain your license or is it important to you to win this? It's, Im it's important. There's two things that are important to me, likely. One is I'm not going to let a pack of ideologically addled moralists, lying moralists who are facilitating the butchery and sterilization of children take away my license, not without a war. So that's one thing. The second thing is... I'm likely, I'm in a prime position in Canada to undertake this battle against the woke licensing boards because I have the money and what the hell are they going to do to me? I'm not practicing. Right. They can't take away my income and right. likely they can't blacken my reputation except among those who are willing to assume that the licensing colleges are playing a straight game. So really, there's nothing they can do to me. Plus, if it was only a personal thing, apart from the fact that I'm not letting my license be taken by a pack of intellectually addled hypocrites, I don't really... There's a part of me that's deeply ashamed to be a psychologist at the moment. I'm so appalled by my compatriots. They know that this gender dysphoria pathology is a lie. They all know it. And they won't say anything. Now, partly they won't say anything because the consequences for saying something are not trivial. But the consequences for not saying anything is that people like Chloe Cole end up with their breasts cut off when they're 15. Right. Right. Well, that actually matters. Right. So, so practically speaking, in a sense, the battle doesn't mean anything to me because I'm fighting to remain a member of a club that I don't really want to be part of. But there is a, is there a principle at stake? Well, there's a variety of principles at stake. And so if I stop or lose all of the woke licensing enterprises, they'll just have their sway. All the physicians in Canada are terrified to say what they think. Anybody who's governed by a professional college, they censor themselves like mad. And it's really appalling for psychologists because all of the psychologists who are properly trained, they know that all of this is a lie, and not just a lie, a malevolent, vicious, and destructive lie. Everything about it's a lie. 